don't believe in fairy tales anymore. Like the like ones I used to tell you when you were a child. This little heart is a miniature version of my heart and it contains all the love I have in my heart for you. Whenever you miss me, and I can hear you saying, but dad, how am I gonna miss you if you're always with me? <laughs> well, I miss you all the time when I'm away from you, when you're at school, when I'm at work, when you go out with your friends. So if you miss me, just touch this little heart and you'll feel my love for you. Happy 15th. I love you, my little bug. Dad. This is not a hairpiece. <laughs> this is PCI Breaking News Update on the Craig Fire in Lakeside Parish. I'm Sean O'Day. She will never understand his passion for helping people. She fears for her father. And it's normal. <laughs> to be honest, I worry about Paul all the time, too. And I pray for his safety and the safety of all of his colleagues. Paul was always so proud of his dad. I was not surprised when he decided to follow in his footsteps. I called Paul again. He still isn't answering. Hmm. I wish he would call me for updates. He knows how much we worry about him. I don't know how many hours I spend in agony waiting for his father to call me after a fire. I'll get it. Okay. <gasps> Ma'am, are you Veronica Stanley? I'm Chief Baldwin. I have some terrible news. Your husband was seriously injured fighting a fire this morning. We had him transported to a hospital, but in Fortunately, she didn't make it. <laughs> no! Oh, let her go. She needs to be alone. Should I go after you? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah. Honey, it's been two weeks and you haven't gone to see your father's grave. You know, when your grandfather died, he was battling a fire and your dad was 17 years old. He had just joined the fire academy and was serving as an intern. Grandpa was so proud of your dad. But when grandpa died, your father would not look at or play with his dog again because grandpa he had run back into the fire to rescue Husky the dog. Paul loved that dog, but he couldn't forgive him. And that poor thing craved for his love every time he would see him. But Paul simply ignored him. One day, I was taken to the hospital for an emergency. The day of my release, I was in a wheelchair with a nurse outside the hospital waiting for Paul to come pick me up. When he arrived, there seated in the passenger seat was Husky. 
At that moment, I knew he had been to visit his father's grave. For three months following your grandfather's death, Husky visited his grave every day and lay there for a few hours. I even brought food and water when I found out. From the day that Paul found that out, wherever he went, Husky was with him. I know when the time is right, you will be strong and at peace and will go visit your dad. There's no pressure and you don't need to feel guilty about anything. to have a reason to be proud of you. I know, honey. Please forgive me if I'm broken. <laughs> it wasn't you who lit the spark. I've glued the pieces back together as many times as I've fallen apart. There's a town beyond the sunrise I hope they let you through the door But me, I'm walking down the darker road At least I know what lies in store 